Hey guys, welcome to The Feed. My name's Tucker King. I'm excited to be joining you. Uh, if you're new to this, uh, we are covering some of God's provisions, uh, the gifts that he's given us to help us grow ourselves and to grow closer to him. Um, uh, I'm excited today. Uh, the gift that I'm gonna be talking about is one that's really close to my heart. Uh, and it's also something that we miss a lot. Uh, it's something that um, from the point we wake up in the morning until we fall asleep, we have an opportunity to engage with and be blown away by. Um, but so often we just uh, are numb to it. We miss it completely uh, and we take it for granted. Uh, and, and that's the gift of creativity. Um, it's, it's something that we can really engage with uh, just going on a walk or talking with a friend. Uh, and, and maybe when you hear that word, you think yourself, uh, this isn't for me. <laughs> I'm not creative. I have no idea uh, how this is going to fit with me. Uh, maybe I can show you a stick figure or some macaroni art. Um, if that's you, I get it. Um, but honestly, I I'm going to challenge that a little bit and tell you that we all have creativity in us because God has put that in us. Uh, and we're going to cover that in, in a few minutes. Um, but the, the main idea here is with creativity is it, it comes to life when we pair imagination with action. When we take uh, concepts in our mind and ideas and we bring them to life. And so we're gonna see uh, there are endless ways for us to be creative in that. Um, but before we get into what it looks like for us to be creative, I just wanna take a minute and talk about the author of creativity, uh, the one that, that gave creativity life to begin with. And so uh, if you can, just imagine uh, darkness, imagine the void. Uh, this, is, this is the picture of what existed before anything existed. It was just God by himself in, in, this, in this void. And so uh, we get that picture in Genesis uh, where it, it says, that um, before God created the heavens and the earth, uh, the earth was without form, it was void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And so we have this crazy picture where there is no context for anything that's ever been created. And it's in that place that through the mind of God, he imagines colors and shapes and light and darkness. He imagines all of these things that never were, and he speaks. Uh, and he says, let there be light, and there was. Uh, and, and then he separates the light from the darkness and gives them the names of night and day. And then he goes on to create uh, planets and stars and, and every living thing, um, everything that's ever been. And so this is incredible because he is the greatest of all creators, obviously, right? Uh, there, there is nothing, and then he speaks and everything exists. Uh, and he's able to create something beautiful and incredible out of that nothing. Uh, and then he goes on, and, and his final creation for this whole beginning story in, in Genesis, he creates us. He creates you and, and me, he creates people. Uh, and, and Ephesians 2 talks about us being his workmanship or his handiwork, uh, that we are crafted with intention and purpose. Uh, I love this, this passage in Psalm 139. It says, for you form my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. Uh, and it says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Right, he, he, he is intentionally forming us, giving us uh, a purpose and personality. Uh, he chooses the characteristics that are in you, the quirks, uh, the passions, everything in you is there because uh, of purpose. And it makes me think about uh, God's intention with how he designed the world. Um, everything he created in the world was here for his purpose, uh, for a greater context. Um, even thinking about all the way into when, when Jesus would be crucified on, on Calvary, on the hill. When he created that hill, he knew that that was the purpose for it. And so with you, with me, when he's creating us, um, he pulls out all the stops. Uh, he knows that there is purpose in us, um, every little part of us. Uh, and I would say, just as a side note, I know this year's been crazy for a lot of people. Uh, if you've ever felt like you lack worth or value, um, I know that I've definitely been there uh, at times. Uh, just to, to challenge you to think about this, that the creativity of our God is on full display in you. Uh, the creativity of our God is on full display in you, uh, and, and it's the same God who created the universe, the stars, uh, the planets, everything around us that, that took time to intentionally think about you as an individual, uh, to create you exactly the way that he intended to create you. Uh, and so uh, find some joy in that. Know that, that he is, is working um, in you to, to, to make you exactly who he wants you to be, um, and you can find incredible worth there. Um, now, if you ever hear a song on the radio that you, you love, uh, or uh, if, if you see a piece of art, a lot of times we can see those kind of things and, and know that there's some kind of attribute, some characteristic that we can connect with um, from the artist. There's something about them, their personality coming through that piece of art. And I'd say that's because the creation says a lot about the, the person that, that made it. Um, and, and the same thing is true with God's creation. 
there is a fingerprint of his creation, uh, his intention that we can see coming through that creation. Uh, Romans 1 talks about this, where it says, uh, for his invi invisible attributes, which are typically the things that we can't see about God, uh, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So the things that he created, the things that he made, exist for us to see his power, for us to see a glimpse of his nature. Um, so the, all of these things exist to amaze us, uh, to, to put us in awe. Um, but then they also exist for us to be inspired in our own creativity. Um, this is the beauty of, of how he's created us. Uh, after he finishes creating everything, he gets to, to people and he says, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Uh, he intends for us to reflect his character, for us to, to, to reflect his personality and, and the things that he is capable of. Uh, and and in, in that sense, he's created us to be creative. Um, that's part of his character, to be able to create. Um, and there's this cool picture in Exodus where God has uh, commissioned people to build the tabernacle, which is this, essentially this really fancy tent. Uh, he wants uh, this place to exist so that he can, his presence can come and dwell there and they can engage with him. They can sacrifice and worship and, and, and encounter God. And so this is not just a couple poles and a, and a, a sheet, right? This is, this is a big deal. Um, so every detail of this has to be incredible and flawless. And so he goes through and, and he is uh, putting his spirit into people to give them the abilities and the skills to create this. And so this is a cool picture here where he says, uh, he filled them with the spirit, with skill, with intelligence, with knowledge, and with all craftsmanship to devise artistic designs. Uh, and it goes through listing all the different kinds of ways that they're able to do that um, through cutting stones, carving wood, uh, and every skilled craft. Uh, he's filled, with, filled them with skills to do every sort of work by an engraver, a designer, embroiderer, a weaver, uh, and any sort of workman and skilled designer. Um, and it's amazing that these people are reflecting God's nature by being creative in their crafts. Uh, and they're also doing it for God's purpose. Um, they're able to, to put forth something um, that God has put in them and, and honor God and exalt him through it. Um, and so we go back to the idea of if you feel like you're not creative, if you feel like that's something that doesn't fit your skill set, your personality, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push back on that a little bit because there's those obvious ways where, you know, we see music, we see art, those things connect that that's obviously someone being creative. Um, but what if it's finding a way to love somebody uh, that looks different or, or believes differently than you? Um, I think that's something our world desperately needs right now. And that can take some incredible creativity to, to do that really well. Um, or if it's um, creating ways to, to provide for people that are in need um, or just to engage people um, that you normally wouldn't. Uh, I think there's incredible ways where we can take imagination and bring it into action, where we can take these ideas and concepts and breathe life into it um, to, to be creative in all different kinds of ways. So one thing I would encourage you again is just don't miss it. Take some time today to just breathe in God's creativity. Let yourself be blown away by it, to, to see it with new eyes. Even if that's just looking at the details of a leaf growing, uh, there is so much intricacy and design there that, that God has intended for us to just see a glimpse of him, of his personality, of his intention. Um, so just take some time to reflect on that and just allow yourself to be blown away by God's creativity. Uh, secondly, find joy in it. Uh, there's nothing quite as fulfilling when we're able to to reflect God's nature um, by, by using our gifts. Um, I think God definitely finds pleasure when we're able to use the gifts that he's given us. And so find joy, enjoyment of that. If that's playing music, if it's singing, if it's, if it's art, if it's any other kind of creativity, um, just know that that's part of expressing God's nature through you. And so you can find incredible joy there. Uh, and then lastly, make much of him. Uh, just like the, the people that God uh, commissioned to make his tabernacle, to make this place where he would come and dwell, you can use your creative gifts to make much of God. Uh, John Piper has this quote where he says, if you are God, your work is to create out of nothing. If you are not God, but like God, that is if you are human, your work is to take what God has made and shape it and use it to make him look great. That's exactly what these people did. That's exactly why God gives us these abilities, to be able to use our creativity to show God's nature and to make much of him. So uh, that's, that's all I have for us today, but I encourage you guys just to, to take the time to enjoy God, to be blown away by his creativity, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time on the feed.